Receiving simulator transmission. Uploading transmitted feed. Initializing playback sequence. Log execute. Hey everyone, Cypher here, and welcome back to Cypher Plays Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelists of the Roses. In the last episode, we took on Rex Raptor at Turksbury, earning our first White Rose card. And in this episode, we will be challenging Weevil Underwood at Chester. But before we do that, I wanted to quickly just point out one feature in the deck screen. Because here you customize your deck, you do whatever you want, but if you press the uh, right, right stick, uh, so basically R3 I think it is, technically, you bring up the password system. I have used this a few times off screen, mainly to get that sword stalker you just saw right there, and that extra Songen field, along with an extra swordsman from a foreign land. This is mainly for my strategies for any particular opponent. I'll probably show at least one or two passwords on screen, but we'll save that for later. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> so you're the legendary Rose Duelist. Prepare to face the sting of my insect deck. Okay, so as I might have mentioned, I don't remember if I did last episode, all the Rose Crusaders basically play on fields that benefit them. Case in point, Weevil here has a field that is mainly forest, which powers up his insect monsters along with... Uh, <clears throat> along with... Uh, beasts and plants, so he can be a bit difficult to deal with. So I'm just gonna summon my own insect and see what he does. Because I we need to get at least one uh, monster out that, or at least get some field control going. So let's see what we can do. Let's. Get rid of you first, and then you. But I had a feeling that would be the case. It's gonna move because I don't have the best confidence about fighting his monsters directly on their own fields. He also has a few wasteland patches. We saw the wasteland terrain back with. Uh, Rex, and that powers up rock, machine, zombie, and dinosaur cards. Okay, well. And we've revealed his other cards, so let's see what to do. Huh. I did not know that fiends get powered down by force, so that's another thing to keep in mind. Well, let's take out his needle worm. And the reason that I have the animations off, I don't remember if I said this last time too, but I really just don't want to drag out these episodes because the animations are very long. And once you've seen them once, you don't really need to see them again. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Well, I should have put you in defense mode. What should I do? Just gonna have to sacrifice some cards and hope that 
we can get something to gain a bit more field control. I suppose since I didn't mention the labyrinth last time, or at least I don't remember if I did, but if I didn't, uh, Uh, if I didn't, the main concern about uh, Labyrinth is that nothing can really pass through it except for a few select monsters, and it's honestly a bit annoying to deal with. There's several duels in this game that make use of Labyrinth and their strategies, and we'll see those when we get to them. There are ways to get rid of them, but we'll worry about that for later. Okay, so this is a bit tricky. Let's see what he does. He might be a bit smarter than Rex, because I don't think that he'll just attack onto the way- Or not. Okay. Well, at least we're getting a little bit of damage back on him. Okay. Let's throw this up. We'll see what he does because I think he'll probably go for that defense position monster, but I don't know for sure. Good. Now we can actually use Songin to get rid of some of his forest terrain and create some field that's to our advantage. Summon Guiltia here. That he'll possibly try and attack. Yep, you can be powered up by that, so... fifty. Okay, I had a feeling that would be the case. Well, 
Let's take care of this guy. And we're doing much better because we're not restricted by the labyrinth spaces like we were with Rex, and we at least have some decent fighting space now. Let's see, will he attack my defense position monster? Nope. Okay. That was easy to take care of. He's down to his last 270 life points. We got another song in the field, so that should actually be a good thing to use at this point, because now... I can actually put that here. The plate is that right here to extend our meadow field even more. Attack his hunter spider. And now we're in a pretty good position. And I think he just set it up for us to finish him off because I'm pretty sure that insect can't do anything. Okay, infinite dismissal, that's a bit of a bummer, but oh well. Let's just use Moon Envoy. And this should do it, but let's might as well see if we can get more cards in the card slots because the Graveyard slots uh, are based on uh, what you have in his graveyard, so the more cards you defeat of his, the stronger you'll end up being. When do you attack with Manny or Bug? You're, that's foolish. Well was not expecting that to be so easy. Well, now we've got the graveyard slots. So let's see what we can get. Hopefully some of those traps, because those are pretty good. Nope. Ah. Huh. I thought my... Graveyards, my extra graveyard slots would have kicked in by now, but I guess not. I think it's only for getting three in a row from that, but oh well. No, oh, this, no, I, I lost. This can't be happening. Believe it, Weevil, you lost. And now we've opened up a few more options. So... I know that this has been a short episode, but we might as well look at the options. We've got Pegasus Crawford, who I will be putting off as long as possible because he's probably the hardest on this route, outside of a few others. Keith and Towton, who's got some pretty strong cards. Darkness Ruler, or Panic, if you remember the anime, in St. Albans. And then 
down here, Necromancer or Bones, who has the lowest deck cost that we've seen, so we're probably going to need to do some major reshuffling of our deck. But before that, I'm just going to quickly go to the deck and actually show off the password system since we've uh, gone through and defeated this duel faster than I thought we would, so... I'm just going to use one code that I have right here. You can find these online or on like GameFAQs or you could go and search uh, the monster that you want, say Dark Magician plus D-O-R, and that will get you the like wiki page for the specific Duelist of the Roses version of that card. and. I'll give you a password to get in your game. Let's see. Into M27 is the end of this. Okay, there we go. Tactical Warrior added. Probably won't be adding that to my deck anytime soon, but we'll see. And for whatever reason, the cheat code I used to make my deck leader different by making all the, basically the highest rank seems to be applying to the new cards as well, but I guess I'll just, that's just a side effect of that code, so we'll just have to live with it. Not that I intend to change my deck leader anytime soon after this, so now that we've won our second White Rose card, I think think I'm going to end this off here. So, thank you all for watching. Until next time, stay gold. Playback sequence terminated. Transmission disconnected.